Last night, we saw an absolutely beautiful shootout goal scored by Elias Pettersson, who came down and pulled off the Forsberg to score. But that had me thinking, is this a good way to end a game? Shootouts have gotten a lot of attention recently, especially after the sport's best player, Connor McDavid, came out and said that the shootout is a crappy way to end the game. You know, no one loves to shoot out. Um... You know, it's 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 a uh, it's a crappy way to, to finish a game. Now I'm gonna go deeper into what McDavid had to say a little later in the video, but first let's look at an example. Last night's Canes Canucks matchup was definitely not one I would have initially thought had a shootout in the cards, but it did. The Canes have been a powerhouse all year and came out quickly proving this, getting a nice one here, and then as the period was ending, going up by a pair. However, the Canucks stayed in it though, and after Bear scored the lone goal in the second on a great forecheck, JT Miller off the post picks up his own rebound and. And scores in the third to tie it up. The teams traded goals late though. First, the Canes on a great breakout play that leads to a breakaway for Aho, and he gets a nice one. And just as it was looking like another L for the Canucks, they put on the pressure with the goalie pulled, and with 17 seconds to go, Besser puts home the rebound, and we're going to overtime. In overtime, the Canucks impressed me, if I'm honest, getting by far the better chances, but nothing was decided. But look here, Pedersen was on a breakaway just as time expired. Who knows, but what could have been? Let's keep that in mind. Regardless, we head to the shootout. Burnsy gets things rolling and goes backhander off the crossbar. Kuzmenko then, for the Canucks, scores a nice one over the glove of Kuch that was answered by Svechnikov, who comes down and essentially does the same thing, but on the blocker side. Miller then comes so close, as does Teravon and hitting the crossbar but ultimately neither scored and that gets us to Pedersen with the game on his stick he comes down and scores with the Forsberg to win the game and it was a tasty one repeating what he did to the Jets just about a year ago but that gets us to the elephant in the room should the shootout along with the amazing moments like this be taken out of today's NHL again McDavid mentioned not being a fan of them but to be fair the shootout does serve a purpose aside from the narrative that it's the most exciting play in hockey it also generally is a fairly quick way to end the game. It decides a winner no matter what and is much easier on the athletes. And McDavid mentioned that as well. You know, at the end of the day, also, it's about the, the players' health and safety. You know, it's a long season. You know, the, the overtime, it, it, it taxes a lot of guys. So, uh, you know, no one wants to see the game end in a shootout. All in all, though, while I love to watch these guys pull all of these great individual goals, it just doesn't make sense to me. The better team isn't necessarily winning at that point. It's a team sport after all. So a full game getting boiled down to a 1v1 is just fairly odd, especially in a sport so heavily marketed as a team sport. It would be similar to having a home run derby to decide a baseball game. Would that make any sense? It can hardly even be considered the same game once it gets to the shootout, in my opinion. So, with all that said, here's my take. First, I agree with McDavid that it would be a good idea to extend the overtime from 5 minutes to 10 minutes. Make it a 10 minute 3 on 3. The odds that no one scores during that time on a 3 on 3 have got to be fairly low, and who knows what could have happened here when time expired just as Pedersen was off to the races. If we look at the ECHL for example, they actually went from a 5 minute to a 7 minute overtime with some pretty solid success, as 78% of games ended before the shootout as opposed to just 61, only by adding 2 minutes to the overtime. But in the event that neither team wins after a 10 minute 3 on 3, what then? A tie. And this is where I will probably get roasted for this, because I've seen people hate on the idea of a tie. But if after 70 minutes the teams were that close, why would a tie where each team gets a point not be an accurate reflection of what happened. Neither team was good enough to win in 70, so a full two points isn't awarded to either team. Instead of there suddenly being three points on the line like there is now, just split the two points. Plus, with a 10 minute three on three, I really don't think we'd be having many ties anyway. But let me know, am I out to lunch on this? How would you like to see games ended? Or is the five minute overtime and then the shootout the way it is now the way it should continue? I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I'll see you in the next one.